Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Saturday Morning Collectibles. Today's going to be what I hope is a very awesome unboxing for you guys. NECA's TMNT accessory set that just released uh, a couple weeks ago at Target for their Hall of Fun event. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to do is review the box art itself. Um, this is one of the better ones that I've seen recently, and I, I mean they've been killing it with the box art. But you got the vintage television with a little baby pizza monster, a VCR tape set or VCR um, player. You have the antenna. You get the books that there's that the TV's sitting on. The baby turtles. You got Big Mac, you got a uh, Super Nintendo system down here with some, um, uh, these aren't Super Nintendo controllers, they look more like, uh, I don't even know what those would be, are those Atari? I don't know, let me know in the, let me know in the comments. Uh, that's the front. Uh, the back, you just get a bunch of images of what comes in the box itself. We'll go through all those here in detail, but um, accessories include Baby Leo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael. Big Mac, you get a video game console, TV with interchangeable screens, cheese painting, a pizza box, two VHS tapes, backpack, ray gun, turtle tracker, star of Hoboken, baby pizza monster, rocksteady helmet, blowtorch, and multiple baby weapons. Uh, so that's a lot in this accessory set. Alright, so I'm going to open it up and uh, we'll take a close look at uh, each of the items inside. All right, I've got everything out of the box, and holy cow, there is a ton of stuff in here. So um, if you guys are fortunate to get your hands on this accessory pack, I can tell you you're not going to be disappointed. There's so much stuff in here. So um, I don't even know where to start. So uh, let's see. Let's go with Rocksteady. How about that? So we've waited a long time to get Rocksteady's helmet that he has in the cartoon early on, and we finally... Guys, right, so let's first review Rocksteady's helmet here. So this is something that we've been waiting on for a long time. NECA did a good job with it. There's been some really good ones too that you could get in the aftermarket from other um, toy collectors at that, that uh, where they've made these things. But uh, finally get the one from NECA. Like usual, really cartoon accurate. Let's see how it fits on the head here. Oh yeah. What do you guys think? I think that looks really good. Alright, so we finally have the helmet for Rocksteady. Alright, let's see, what do we do next? There's so much stuff here. We have uh, the Star of Hoboken. This little emerald, nothing special with that. Uh, we get, get a ray gun. Get a blowtorch. We get a Mauser. If you guys bought the accessory set for these guys, we have we have plenty of Mausers at this point. Yeah, I like how the mouth open and closes. We get two baby pizza monsters, and they look a little bit different than the ones we got before, where they're standing up on. Uh, they're back two legs. Here they're on all fours, roaming about. Great detail. I think they NECA does an awesome job with these, with detail on all this stuff, but especially since the you know looking at the smaller figures, they're just as good as the bigger ones as far as detail. We get the turtle tracker. We get a cheese painting. It's a painting with a piece of cheese. I think it's interesting that you even got the piece up here if you want to hang it up. Somehow, you can. <laughs> we get the pizza box, pizza groove. Inside we get a whole pie. Usually it's just a few pieces, but uh, it's time we get the whole pie. It looks like we got maybe green peppers, pepperoni, and cheese. Not a bad combo. Anybody else? OCD bothered by the fact that it looks like it's open backwards. I would think that the text goes this way and it opens like that. But anyway, it's still neat. 
get the bat pack. We'll see if this opens. Well, if it does, I'm not able to get it, and I don't want to force it. So, if someone wants to let me know in the comments if you guys have this and was able to get it to open. Let me know. I'm going to assume it doesn't. All right, now for the bigger items here. What I would consider the cooler ones. Let's see what they do first. Let's look at the Nintendo console. You see the blue cartridge. I wonder if this comes out. got some wiggle you know I feel like it might I'm not able to pull it out myself but uh, yep yeah, I'm not able to get it but it's got some wiggle so I wonder if that comes out I don't know why it would <laughs> but um, I wouldn't be surprised if it did you get the controllers themselves be very careful here not to break these it just feels like a it could break very easily so just be careful we get Baxter's head wearing Shredder's helmet. We get Big Mac. It's one of my most excited things that came in this accessory set here. We just watched the episode recently with Big Mac. Pretty cool character. Let's see, we have the laser sticking out from the back. This one right here. Does it move left or right? Nope. Nope. It does not move left or right. I'm not going to try to force it either. <laughs> arms. Let's see. Arms. We got vertical arm motion. The hands move. So they move here at these joints up and down. I don't think the hands move. Nor do I think they're meant to. I think they're meant to just stay still like that. Let's see, this swivels here, so you can move them right here at this joint. Right here. Move them around, up and down, left to right. That's pretty neat. And we got how he moves down here. That's cool. You know, this came also with this and I'm not sure I'm guessing by the paint color it's got something to do with Big Mac but I have no clue what this is supposed to go to if you guys know I apologize let me know in the comments does this come out maybe and this go in here that's only I can think of I don't know why you'd want to do that I'd rather have this thing showing but anyway that's the only thing I can think of let me know oh I skipped this part uh, we only got one VHS, VHS tape. I think it said you had two in the description of the box, but we get one. It's pretty cool anyway. We'll just set it on top of the television, which is the next item. This is one of my favorite pieces outside the individual turtles and Big Mac. But you got the three books sitting on the broken, <laughs> the broken leg stand. Uh, you got the VHS system. You got the antennas. Now this is supposed to come off. Let me figure this out somehow, because you got a ton of uh, screens, interchangeable screens that just pop in here. So let me figure out how to do this. Okay, it's pretty simple. Um, just grab this barely and just lift up, and it comes right off that way. You got the the knobs here that fit right into these holes, so not too difficult. And then the screens, depending on which one you want. I'm just gonna take the first one here. Ace Duck should fit right into this right there and voila you got your television all right so the television is awesome let's see what screens we got to work with i'm gonna look through it and i'm gonna tell you guys which ones or which one i think i'm gonna use i can tell you there's a lot i don't even think i've seen all these you get ace duck we get Bebop and Rocksteady. Okay, this is a contender. Big T-Rex. Roar! <laughs> That's pretty neat. Um, what is this? A wrestler. Pretty cool. Black and white. Another black and white. Big blob. That's pretty cool. 
That might be back up. I like that one. Got a Donatello. Dressed here like old Western cowboy. Ah, here's a contender. Vernon, Channel 6 News. Get the video game that was on the, the art on the front. That might be a pretty good one, actually, if you're going to pose them playing the video game itself. And then, uh, I don't know now. What do you think? Let me know in the comments which one you guys like better. Screaming T-Rex or April Nil Channel 6? I feel like, all right, I'm a homer, I guess. I feel like I got to go with April Nil Channel 6. You know, when I saw it, I'm like, oh, you got to, because I mean, most of the time, what are they doing? They're watching April Nil. Getting their channel six news. All right, let's see. Let's put this back on. Oh yeah, easy to get back on. Just pops back on. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, good job, NECA. That's an awesome accessory. This accessory set, by the way, retails at sixty dollars. Which, with all you get here, I definitely think it's worth it. I've saved what I believe is the best for last. What everybody is wanting these accessories so bad for. And that is the baby turtles. If you guys remember on a few of the episodes, the turtles are shrunken down to baby form and they have to have some type of ray gun to get zapped back up to their big teenage selves. So let's look at these, see what we're looking at. So the detail here looks outstanding. We got Mikey here smiling. Um, see, joints aren't too, too stiff. Be careful though, because they are itty bitty. See in my hand, I mean, it fits in the palm of my hand. He's so small. So there's Michelangelo. We have Leonardo. Non smile face. We have Raphael. <laughs> Slightly annoyed face. We have Donatello. Again, non smiley face. And the weapons, the weapons are even smaller. If you got if you can imagine, they gotta be able to hold them, so. Oh my goodness, these super small weapons. There's Donnie's bow. Raph's size. Leo's swords. And Mikey's nunchucks. Super small. That's a lot. That's everything that's in this accessory set. It's a whole lot. It's definitely worth the $60. Let me know in the comments if you guys were able to pick it up. If you were lucky enough to get it on Holothon's online release with Target. Don't panic if you didn't. I think the one thing we know about NECA is I think everything at one point that's come out in retail, they have put on their shop at some point in the future. So you may be waiting a little bit, but I do think that you will be able to get this at some point in the future. So don't panic. Don't go to eBay to pay scalper prices. I believe you will be able to get this in the future. I'm really hoping so for you guys because it's an awesome accessory set. And I think if you're a turtle fan, it's something that you have to have. All right, that's going to do it. If you liked the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time.